now we get into one. Jaleel Billingsley, the Alabama tight end who broke out last year, who snapped last year, especially in the last seven games of the season. Steve Sarkeesian started to go more so to big, number 19, and the 6'4", 230-pounder from Chi-Town, Chicago, did his thing in the 2020 campaign. But as good as he was last year, as good as he was down the stretch last year, he's going to have an opportunity to be even better this year. Even better, even bigger, and by better and bigger, I'm referring to he's going to have a chance to be launched onto NFL draft boards where Todd McShay, Mel Kuyper Jr., and all these other guys will be talking about him in essence to the 2022 NFL draft. And why do I feel this way? I feel this way because the hire that Alabama made in bringing in Bill O'Brien. The move to get Bill O'Brien on staff is going to pay dividends here for Billingsley. For Jaleel this past season, 18 catches, 287 yards for Billingsley. He had three touchdowns. Now, he made all of his catches count. Jaleel did. Very efficient. Of his 18 receptions, 14 of them went for either first downs or touchdowns. That's 77.8%. And when you talk about the last seven games from Kentucky to Ohio State, the last seven games, Billingsley, 17 catches, 274 yards, three touchdowns, and even showed against the Wildcats that, you know, Najee Harris is not the only brother that can hurdle defenders. Jaleel Billingsley had his hurdle going against Kentucky in that 66, in that 63-3 to three victory right there. Billingsley, three catches for 78 yards against the Wildcats. But getting back in now to how Bill O'Brien is going to help, Jaleel is O'Brien, aside from quarterbacks, we all know he works well with quarterbacks, Tom Brady, uh, Deshaun Watson, Matt McGloin at Penn State, Christian Hackenberg at Penn State, but he works even better with tight ends. He is really, Bill O'Brien is really magical in getting the tight end position to pop. Whether he's been at Penn State, uh, New England, or Houston, the tight end position has either been the number one receiving option for his teams or the number two receiving option. But the tight end has been more than targeted under O'Brien. So at Penn State, those two years, he had Kyle Carter, he had Matt Lehman, he had Jesse James, and he had Adam Brenneman. And of, of all of, of those four guys, Carter, Lehman, James, and Brenneman, you know, all of those guys – they combined for 17 uh, of the 44 touchdown receptions during O'Brien's time at Penn State. That's 38.6%. So near 40% of a touchdown pass is thrown by Matt McGloin or Christian Hackenberg went to the tight end position. It's big dividends right there. And then the trio of Carter, Lehman, and James, they all recorded at least 20 receptions at that tight end position under O'Brien for the Nittany Lions. When you look at the New England Patriots 2011, O'Brien's lone year as the offensive coordinator, you had Rob Gronkowski, who had 90 receptions for 1,327 yards and a team-high 17 touchdowns. And then prior to the unfortunate, tragic demise and death of Aaron Hernandez, he had 79 receptions that year, 79 for 910 receiving yards and seven scores there for the Patriots. When you look at the Houston Texans here, O'Brien had Ryan Griffin. He had C.J. Fedorowicz. So we had C.J. Fedorowicz. He had Jordan Atkins, and he had Darren Fails. And all of those tight ends, they total at least 20 receptions each during Bill O'Brien's time with the Houston Texans. So as we're seeing right here, he is really good coaching, mentoring, producing, getting the best out of that positional unit. And for you as Bama fans, the thought has always been, can we see more from the tight end room, right? Can we get more receptions? Can we get more yards? Can we get more touchdowns? Can we get more big plays from the tight end position? You guys are appreciating what the wide receivers can do. You guys are appreciating what the running backs can do out of the backfield. But the one thing you guys have wanted more of is can we get more numbers, more stats, more production, more big plays, more wow moments from 
the tight end room like you saw with O.J. Howard, like you saw with Irv Smith. Can we get more of that from the tight end room? And I believe that Jaleel Billingsley, with his not only size, but his ability to run routes like a wide receiver, you're going to get a lot more of that. O.J. Howard was a first-round pick in the 2018, or the 2017, excuse me, NFL draft to the Buccaneers, and uh, Irv Smith was a second-round pick in the 2019 venue to the Minnesota Vikings. So we, we saw both of those guys go high in their respective draft classes, and when you discuss Jim Billingsley, he has the potential, he has the capability to go just as high, to do just as well, to be just as productive, built off of how well how exceptional, how good O'Brien is with tight ends, not just Bill O'Brien. Alabama's also brought in Jay Graham, who will work with tight ends also. And Graham, when he was at South Carolina, he put two guys in Rory Anderson and Justice Cunningham into the National Football League. So for me, if I'm Jaleel Billingsley and I'm seeing what Bill O'Brien has done, I'm hitting that dance by Fast Life Young because I'm swag surfing because I'm about to catch a wave. I'm about to catch a serious wave after seeing what O'Brien has done with the tight ends I just listed here. You're Jaleel Billingsley. I'm getting in that weight room right now. I'm getting in them drills right now. I'm doing all the practice that I'm doing because I'm seeing what this cat did with these tight ends, and I'm just as good, if not better. I'm about to catch a wave. I'm about to be big balling, big timing in the upcoming season here with the Crimson Tide. But – as always, Bama fans, you want the best in news, notes, information, and coverage here on your favorite program, that being the Crimson Tide. You can get this by accessing the Touchdown Alabama Magazine app. You download it from your iPhone app store. If you're rocking Team Apple, Google Play Store, if you got the Android phone. For your audio listening needs, we got you right here. iTunes or Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Spreaker, Google Play, Overcast.fm, TuneIn Radio, or iHeartRadio. We got you covered. If the good and gracious Lord sees fit, I'll be back on Friday continuing the conversation that is all things Bama football. As, as always, Bama fans, you can purchase individual copies of Touchdown Alabama Magazine. Have those sent to your door. That link will be found in the description. We got to shout out Jimmy Clay again, baby. Jimmy with that $10 donation in the Super Chats. Appreciate Jimmy Clay for all that he does and all that all of you do and showing that support that love, that fire for Crimson Tide football and for us here at TDA and the donations there be the Super Chats. But, like I said, you can purchase individual copies of TDA. Have those sent to your door. That link in the description for the print magazine that's coming soon. The print magazine. You can get that by going to touchdownalabama.com. Click join. Hit that subscribe button. Become a subscriber. Become a member today. That link is in the description. You can also become a member of a TDA you know, on YouTube. That link is in the description. And once you hit join and become a member, you can upgrade as you see fit there. Also, you can copy that four-finger bling necklace, four-finger bling jewelry, courtesy of weownthefourthquarter.com. You check out that link in the description as well. But until next time, folks, husbands love your wives. Wives appreciate and value those husbands, children. Do those things the right way, the legitimate way to not be bored. You get you those three hearty meals a day, those three great laughs a day. Protect yourself. Protect the loved ones around you. You guys be safe out there. Until next time, I'm your man, Stephen M. Smith, and this has been In My Own Words. Thank you for watching Touchdown Alabama Magazine's YouTube channel. To continue to get the best in Alabama football content, subscribe here and turn on your notifications to stay connected with the hottest shows covering your Crimson Tide.